You know, there are hundreds and hundreds of science fiction movies out there, but hardly any film has achieved such a cult status as Back to the Future. First released in 1985, the trilogy has millions of fans all across the globe and Back to the Future is also one of the few science fiction movies that has been caught up by reality. As you might know, the second part of the series shows a fictional version of the year 2015. This legendary movie, Back to the Future, was filmed in and around Los Angeles. And today it is time to find the famous shooting locations and to see how they have changed within 37 years. Time for a new movie location tour. I just arrived at the first shooting location for today, which is also the first scene that you can see in the movie uh, Back to the Future. If you remember the beginning of the movie, Marty visits Doc Brown in his creepy old shed or whatever that is. And then he drives away with the skateboard. And in this scene, you can see a Burger King. And I found it. It's that one over there. Yeah, but we won't start with the Burger King. We will start as in the movie with Doc Brown's creepy old garage. You can see in the movie a lot of times. And there are some fascinating facts about this garage because it really exists in reality, but at a different place <laughs> in a different year. Uh, well, yeah, it's quite complicated. But the funny thing is right here at this place, right next to this Burger King, there is no old shed, as you can see here. This was just a set they built for the movie and they demolished it when finished. But you can still see where exactly this old garage was standing. You can still see those parking spaces on the left, those yellow parking spaces. And you can still see this entrance for cars in the middle. There is a huge parking space behind the Burger King parking space and a huge uh, company building. Right in the middle of this entrance they have built this garage. You can still see that the power pole on the left side of the picture is still here. You can also see that the company building on the right side was also here 37 years ago. And what you can also see is this strange asphalt of the Burger King parking space. There is some kind of a weird line that goes through this parking space. <laughs> Do you see that? I don't know why. Maybe it's for rainwater or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this strange line is still here in reality, 37 years later. In this scene, we can see Marty driving his skateboard across the Burger King parking lot, and that has been filmed from over here. And in this scene, we can also see this building in the background that you can also see in the movie. It had a slightly different color in the past. And uh, in this scene, we can also see what kind of building this actually is. In the past, it used to be a Toys R Us store. Today, it's a shop for home accessories. And this is the Burger King scene as we know it from the movie. And here we can also see the Burger King restaurant itself. And if we take a closer look, we can see today it has some kind of a porch at the front of this building. You see that? That hasn't been here 37 years ago. But if we take a closer look, the building itself is still the same. It has a different color. It looks totally different. It has a porch, but it's obviously exactly the same building. What we can also see is that the logo, the sign of the Burger King has changed. We can see a tree on the sidewalk that hasn't been here 37 years ago. And there's also a palm tree in front of the Burger King restaurant that also hasn't been here in the past. The camera pans to the right and here we can see there is a huge building on the right that also has been here 37 years ago, even though in the past this obviously was a printing company. At least there was a sign with the name printing on it. I don't know. Today it's home of the F22 Studios. We can also see on the left side of the picture there are a few different signs of shops here. For example, Toys R Us. 
obviously it's not here anymore. The funny thing is also the German supermarket chain Aldi has a store in this street. I, to be honest, didn't even know that Aldi, uh, a company from my home country, has stores in the United States. <laughs> but well, now I know and I would say now let's move on to the next shooting location. Rechts abbiegen auf Rosli in Delhi May Avenue, dann befindet sich das Ziel auf der linken Seite. Before we move on to the next shooting location, I think I have to disappoint you first. Yeah, that's live. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure you also clicked on this video to see Hill Valley. You know, the fictional village that you can see in the movie Back to the Future a lot of times. The problem is, it's not only the village that is fictional, it's also the shooting location that is fictional. Is that the right sentence? <laughs> I don't know. It's not a real place. Hill Valley is actually a studio set in Universal Studios and it's still there. You can still visit it. If you do a guided tour um, in Universal Studios, you can still visit the set from Back to the Future. But well, I decided not to visit this studio set uh, today. I decided only to visit uh, the places that you can also visit in public. And the next place on the list is nearly as important as Hill Valley. It's it's, of course, the living house of Marty McFly and his family. It should be in the street over here. Let's try to find it. Yeah, I hope you're ready for the big moment. <laughs> this is the house of Marty McFly and his family as we know it from the movie. And this is how it looks today in reality. We can see the house has a different color. It's more white and yellow. In the past, it used to be red brownish. <laughs> Me as a European, I would say it looked a bit like a Swedish wooden house. <laughs> yeah, um, it's not like that anymore. What is still here are those two huge power poles right behind this famous house. And also the tree on the right side is still here, even though it's much bigger 37 years later. The structure of the house is basically the same as you can see here. There are only a few new windows and doors if you take a closer look. The only thing that really has changed here is the nature because right now in California it's so hot and dry. It obviously wasn't like that in the movie. You can see a lot of green around the house. It's much greener. There is basically no grass anymore because it's so hot and dry right now. This is the street we all know from the movie. Marty is coming with his skateboard and that has been filmed from over here. We can see almost nothing has changed. There is still this house on the left side. There are still those trees on the left and on the right side of the road. They are much bigger than they used to be 37 years ago. There are still those parking spaces where people park their cars on the left and on the right of the street. Today, of course, the cars are much more modern. But yeah, everything else looks quite the same here. This is a scene filmed in daylight at the end of the movie when Doc Brown comes to visit Marty. That has been filmed from over here. And also here we can see not that much has changed. In this scene, it gets a bit tricky because there is this huge tow truck right in front of Marty's house because Biff damaged the car, as you might remember. Um, and in reality, you can see here on the right side, there are a lot of trees and bushes and stuff like that uh, so that we don't really see uh, this house anymore that you can see in the movie scene. There's also a wall and a gate and a fence and stuff like that. Yeah. It looks totally different than it used to 37 years ago. Marty is hanging cool on the garage door. Unfortunately, we can't film the scene like in the movie because of course this is private property. We can't go into the garage. Um, but anyway, this is the house we can see in the movie in the background. And also here we can see in the past it used to be yellowish. Today it's more gray white. Here's the Chaos Squad <laughs> all together. Um, this scene has been filmed from over here. And here, once again, we can see it's much more dry. There is basically no grass right beside the sidewalk. This scene is quite funny because right behind Doc Brown, there is a blue building, obviously a garage. And this blue building is still here. <laughs> Look at this. It looks even more 
blue <laughs> than in the past. Uh, but obviously this garage door that you can see right behind Doc Brown is white. In the past it used to be blue. And this is the last scene I want to show you from this place. The DeLorean goes back to the future. And I would say we will also go back to the future now. Let's move on to our next filming location. <laughs> Time to visit the next famous living house. This time it's Doc Brown's house, which to be honest looks quite funny in the movie Back to the Future. And well, it's still like that 37 years later in reality. Well, actually, this house is not funny. It's an architectural masterpiece. It was built in the year 1908 as a living house for David B. Gamble, who was the son of James Gamble, who is the founder of Procter and Gamble, a huge US company. So that's why this house is also called the Gamble House. Today, there are no rich dudes living here anymore. This house is an historical landmark. You can visit it. There are guided tours. Then you will learn a lot about architecture. Yeah, in this scene, we can see obviously not that much has changed within the past 37 years. The house still looks quite the same. Here in the movie scene, we can see Doc Brown on the right side running around in his garden with a lot of stuff. Uh, what we can see here is there is some kind of an orange tree or apple tree or something like that. Like that on the right that obviously isn't here anymore and we can also see that there used to be some kind of a wall uh, overground by ivy in the past uh, that also looks a bit different today and now it gets interesting if you remember the beginning of this video when we were standing right beside the burger king and we didn't find dog brown's old shed well Ta-da! <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're in the year 1955 in the movie. And in reality, here in 2022, there really is this old garage. As you might remember in the movie, they say that Doc Brown's living house, the Gamble house in reality, burned down in the 1960s and only the garage was left. Well, in reality, we can see, nope, the Gamble house didn't burn down. And also the garage is still here. Even though the doors are a bit different, if you take a closer look, it's not a garage anymore of some kind of weird professor. <laughs> it's a bookstore. But yeah, the structure of the house, the roof and also the color are still the same. Here's Marty standing at the entrance of Doc Brown's property and we can see this entrance to the garage and to the living house is paved with bricks like it used to be 37 years ago. What isn't here anymore is the number on the left side of the picture. The vintage car Doc Brown is driving obviously is also gone but the tree on the right side is also still here. And this is the last scene I want to show you from this place. We can see Marty walking towards Doc Brown's house. And what we can see here is the bush or the little tree on the left side of the walking path is also still here. Or it's a different bush, I guess. I think it's, it's a different bush. But yeah, the walking path itself still looks exactly the same like it did 37 years ago. So we're back in the next very quiet Los Angeles living area. This is the street where we should find Lorraine's house and maybe also the tree where her future husband and Marty's father uh, is sitting on to spy through the window. Yeah, let's try to find it. Yeah, and this is Lorraine's house as we know it from the movie. And this is how it looks like today in reality, 37 years later. What we can see is the color of the house is different. It's gray, green-ish. In the past, it used to be white, white, gray. Uh, what we also can see is that the tree on the right side, right in front of Lorraine's window, is still here. And what we also can see is that the residents of this house obviously have a soft spot for flowers or flower pots because there are a lot of them standing right in front of the door. And what we can also see is that obviously the room behind Lorraine's window 
isn't used anymore as a living room or as a bedroom or something like that uh, because there is a lot of stuff standing right behind this window <laughs> which is quite funny to be honest uh, and obviously <laughs> the people living here don't give a shit <laughs> that this is a famous movie scene from back to the future which is also a statement i would say <laughs> On the other side of the road, we will find a huge tree, and this might be the tree where George McFly was lying on to spy through the window. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe this left branch you can see here in reality might be the branch George McFly was lying on. Um, in the movie, it looks a bit different. It looks a bit like this branch is like... I don't know, lying across the road or something. Uh, it's definitely not like that in reality. But yeah, maybe it's because of the camera position. I have the feeling that this left branch you can see here in reality, this might be the branch where George McFly was lying on. And here we can see George McFly falling from the tree that has been filmed in this street over here. We can see, yep, the street almost looks the same like it did 37 years ago even though the cars parking on the left and on the right of the road of course are a bit more modern than in 1955. <laughs> Here's Marty McFly coming to rescue his dad and yeah this scene was a bit tricky uh, but then I finally found this house Marty is standing right in front of. It's this house over here and why is that? Because this house has some kind of an archway on the right side if you take a closer look here in the past it used to be overground by ivy it's not anymore uh, there were also some bushes right in front of the veranda of the house they are also not here anymore and the house also has a new door if you take a look at the left in the past it used to be white today this house has a brown door but if you take a look at the structure of the house and everything around it, yep, it's exactly the same like the house you can see in the movie scene. In this scene, we can see a bit more of this house and of the area around it. And what you can also see is a huge tree on the left side of the picture that used to be here 37 years ago. And it's still here and it's even more beautiful even though the area around it in the past was definitely much greener than it is today. This is one of the first scenes we can see in this scene. Marty is coming out of the bushes <laughs> and then he runs to the tree his dad is lying on. Uh, this scene has been filmed from over here and also this house still exists and also the color has changed. In the past it used to be white gray. And this is the last scene I want to show you from this place. And I'm not 100% sure where this scene has been filmed because you can see a huge hatch on the right side. And in reality, it looks like this. <laughs> I think this could be the place they have filmed this scene. We can also see a hatch on the right side, but it's much smaller than in the movie. But I think this could be the scene because you can see a lot of trees in the background and those branches of the trees, they hang over the pedestrian sidewalk. So uh, you can also see that in the movie scene. So yeah, maybe this could be the place they have filmed this scene. The next shooting location is a tricky one. As you can see, obviously it's the parking space where Marty does his very first time travel. It was not that hard to find the parking space itself, but it's quite hard to find the exact location where all those scenes have been filmed. And I'm still not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it was this side, the south side of this huge mall you can see here and also in the movie. Yeah, let's see if we are standing right here. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're absolutely right here. This is the famous mall from the movie Back to the Future, which in reality is not the Twin Pines Mall. In reality, it's the Puente Hills Mall. And I was a bit confused first because if you take a look at the huge building on the right, you can see it has a different color. Obviously, it's orange. In the past, it used to be 
red purple ish um, but it looks also quite tiny in the movie you see that and i think this is not because we're standing at the wrong parking space or something like that this is exactly the place i think this is because they use some kind of a wide angle lens for the movie if you take a look at the background it looks a bit round and that's an effect you can get from such a wide angle lens and that might also be the reason why this building on the right side looks a bit tiny compared to the reality uh, you can also see that in reality this building looks much higher i think that's because of the dark sky you can't really see the top of this building so i think the reason why it looks so different is just an illusion by the way, this building is a gym. In the past, it used to be a JCPenney department store. On the left side, in reality, we can see a fashion store. What we can also see is there are a lot of palm trees on this parking space today, in reality, that haven't been here 37 years ago, obviously. But in the movie scene, you can see a few quite small trees around this building. And they obviously are not here anymore, or at least most of them are not here anymore on this parking space. In this scene, we can have a closer look at this huge building on the right side. And by the way, JCPenney is not a fake shop, a fake store like the Twin Pines Mall. It's a real US department store chain and a quite traditional one. Uh, it was founded in 1902 by James Cash Penny. That's why it's called JCPenney. Unfortunately, during COVID in 2020, this department store chain had to file for bankruptcy and they had to close a lot of branches. And also here, right next to the Twin Pines Mall, there is no JCPenney supermarket today anymore. As I said, it's a gym building. Here's Doc Brown standing right in front of the JCPenney building and that has been filmed from over here. The funny thing is <laughs> there is still this lantern on the right that also has been here 37 years ago in the movie scene. And the trees right in front of the building are much higher today than they used to be in the past. Here's Marty and Doc Brown standing in front of those buildings over here. Once again, we can see the entrance of the Twin Pines Mall, of the Puente Hills Mall on the right, and uh, another huge building on the left. I don't even know what that is. Uh, there is no sign or something like that uh, in front of the doors. Yeah, but also here we can see there are a lot of palm trees right in front of those buildings that obviously haven't been here 30 seven years ago. What is also quite interesting, uh, to be honest, is this video camera uh, Marty is filming with. I'm standing here filming with an iPhone. <laughs> it's quite fascinating what has changed within 37 years, right? <laughs> this scene has been filmed from over here and once again we can see the JCPenney building in the background and we can also see some barriers on the ground of this parking space in the movie scene that don't exist anymore today. And this scene is also quite interesting to be honest because here we can see a building in the background that obviously isn't here anymore in reality. This should be the perspective because on the left we can see Doc Brown's truck that we already saw in the first scene from this uh, parking space. So this must be the perspective, but the building in the background obviously isn't here anymore. Well, and before I left this huge parking space, I went into Puente Hills Mall or Twin Pines Mall because I had to go to the bathroom. And uh, to be honest, this is the saddest shopping center I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> A lot of stores in this mall are closed there is absolutely nothing going on here but if you take a closer look at a hidden corner in this shopping center you will find this famous sign i don't know if it's the original sign from the movie or if it's a fake sign but actually it doesn't matter even though this shopping center obviously is dying this famous sign is still here and I think that's all we need, right? <laughs> okay, I never liked going to school that much. Today, 
I do, <laughs> because I just arrived at Hill Valley High School, which is over here, and in reality, it's called Whittier Union High School. <laughs> Yeah, and if you are wondering why the heck is this guy standing in front of a gate or a fence, well, <laughs> the problem is school was already out when I arrived here, so the whole schoolyard was locked, there wasn't anybody who could let me in, uh, and also the school building obviously was closed. The good thing is, obviously, at least that's what I read on the internet, uh, you can actually visit the schoolyard and you can actually visit this school building from inside because they also shot the inside scenes in this school building. They didn't use a studio for that. And if you're lucky and if the school is open, it should be possible to visit it during the day. Unfortunately, when I arrived here, it was closed. So unfortunately, we can only visit the buildings from the outside. The interesting thing about the school building is, in the movie, they show you different versions of the school building. For example, uh, there are a lot of scenes that show the school in 1985. In this scene, there is a lot of graffiti at the entrance door of the school building. In the year 1955, there isn't any of that. The school building looks brand new. Uh, what you can also see in the movie scenes there are some lanterns on the left and on the right of this school entrance they are not here anymore maybe they just put them here for the movie scenes but there are definitely no lanterns here there are also no bicycles here in front of this school entrance as we can see it in the movie and of course the Hill Valley High School in reality is the Whittier Union High School, so they of course changed the sign at the top of the building. What they didn't change is the administration sign that you can see here above the door and also here above the door in reality. I'm in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and it's 39 degrees again. This is the last shooting vacation I want to show you today. Um, it's a private street. I'm pretty sure I'm not even allowed to be here. <laughs> this is where they have filmed the year 1955 where Marty arrives with the DeLorean and he's trying to find his living area but he only finds two huge signs that say Line Estates and a dusty road. Yeah, that scene was filmed somewhere here on this private road. <laughs> Let's try to find it. Yeah, this private road actually belongs to a model airfield and this area around it is also quite interesting because even though it doesn't look like it, there is some kind of a lake nearby and also an RV campsite and also, and that makes this place a little bit creepy, a women's prison. Yeah, so if you <laughs> drive along this road, you will see a lot of fences with barbed wire on it and a lot of security stuff so yeah for some reason yeah this place is a bit creepy to be honest uh, and once again it's 40 degrees out here even my phone died because it's too hot um, anyway let's do what we have to do <laughs> let's try to compare the movie scenes and this is one of the scenes we all know from the movie Marty is searching for Line Estates, his residential area, and then he walks for two miles to Hill Valley. And that has been filmed somewhere over here. Why is that? Because we can see some kind of a water tower in the background that you can also see here in reality, which maybe belongs to the women's prison? I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah somewhere in that area there is the women's prison so maybe this water tower belongs to it. What we can also see is in the movie scene there is a lot of grass on the left and on the right right beside the road. Uh, it's not here anymore. On the left there is a little bit of grass but behind that there is a huge sandy field with nothing on it. On the right side we have corn cultivation and what we can also see is that there are road markings in the middle of the road in the movie scene that are also not here anymore. I was wondering was this maybe some kind of a busy road in the past and that they don't use it anymore because I haven't met 
a single person and a single car here while I was standing here. There is nothing going on here anymore. I'm in the middle of nowhere. What speaks against this theory is that there are power poles on the left side of the road that haven't been here 37 years ago. So there must be some kind of civilization around <laughs> which hasn't been here in the past. And what is also quite interesting, if you take a look at the horizon, you will see in the movie scene, there is nothing to see there. In reality, we can see a huge mountain range in the background. Um, obviously, while they shot the movie, it was quite hazy so that you don't see the mountains. In reality, you can see there is a huge mountain range in the background at the horizon. And this is the reverse shot. Marty is coming with his DeLorean and that has been filmed from over here more or less. Now we can also see in the movie scene there is a huge mountain range in the background and we can also see there is some kind of a forest in the background on the left. This forest is also still here. What we can also see is in the movie there has been a huge meadow on the left and on the right of this picture today on the left we have the cornfield and on the right we have this dusty sandy field this really is a strange place there is also a lot of trash on the left and on the right of the road even though there are basically no cars here there is also no fence anymore uh, on the left side there is only this weird side fence and also a pylon on the left side for whatever reason. <laughs> Here's Marty jumping out of his DeLorean and that has been filmed from over here. Once again we can see this area changed a lot. And well, then I made a huge mistake uh, because of course I also wanted to show you the Lion Estates entrance. And while I was standing here I really thought this is the entrance that you can also see in the movie but when I left I was quite sure no this is not the right dusty road you see in the movie scene. I think I should have walked down the street a few meters further. I was standing here somewhere and I think the real dusty road you can see in the movie is over here. So unfortunately this was a huge fail. I'm sorry for that. But well it was 40 degrees outside <laughs> and my brain was melting so yeah I'm sorry for that. <laughs> But yeah, I think most of the other scenes were accurate, more or less. So uh, I think let's leave this place. Let's drive back to the air-conditioned hotel room. <laughs> so I'm back in my motel room. That was my shooting location tour of Back to the Future. My second shooting location tour from Los Angeles and my second shooting location tour when it's 40 degrees outside. <laughs> Jesus, it's really different to do that when it's so hot outside. You basically only have a time slot of like 10 minutes or something to visit all those locations and after that it really gets uncomfortable. You really have to go back to the car and switch the air conditioning on because yeah, it's so hot outside and it's really not healthy to stand around there for like uh, an hour or something. <laughs> so um, anyway, I will stop whining now. I have everything on video and that's all I ever wanted. <laughs> so uh, I really hope you liked my little shooting location tour. If you did, then you should um, leave a thumbs up <laughs> and you can also subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you won't miss any upcoming video because uh, this is not my last shooting location tour from Los Angeles. There will be a third and last one. And if you'd like to support me and my work then please check out the Patreon link in the description. Then you will get all the exclusive information, for example all the addresses of the shooting locations I showed you today uh, and also new videos before everyone else. So you definitely should check that out. And yeah, that's it for today. I would say have a safe journey. See you next time from Los Angeles. <laughs>